Alright, so we're back with our next battery review, and today we're going to be reviewing the Ovionic 1550-100C-6S LiPo battery. Now, first thing that I notice when I see this battery is, this battery is fat. It is huge. But then again, it is also a 1550-100C-6S. But, so we're going to be flying this today, and we're going to be comparing this to... The race day quads, uh, 1250. I'm expecting the Ovionic to have a longer flight time because of the larger capacity, as well as I'm hoping that I'll be able to get uh, more better punch outs and high speed passes. Um, so we'll take a look at how it goes. So we're back from the field from flying the Ovionic uh, 
100 C6S LiPo. Um, so this battery flew pretty nicely. Uh, longer flight times in the race take quad battery, however, uh, roughly about a minute longer, but it doesn't show that in the DVR since I forgot to hit record on that first flight. I had a crash on that first flight where it only damaged the um, wrapping around the battery. Um, other than that, battery held up fine and it still performed just fine and better than the Race Day Quads battery from after that crash. About a, after about a minute in, it performed just like the Race Day Quads battery. Um, now, it's a little bit too big for my flying tastes, um, so I'm probably going to still stick to the Race Day Quads batteries, but this is a nice battery for flying around, cruising, maybe long range even, uh, getting about four minutes flight time with my quad, well, in the colder temperatures at least. Um, so it's a nice battery. Uh, you choose if you want it or not. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.